Zuccarelli is an interesting drawing because it was probably done whilst he was in England. He was brought over to work in England by Consul Smith, who famously brought over Canaletto. And Zuccarelli was one of those artists who came to England in the 18th century, like a number of Italian artists. And my feeling is that he did this in England. He is known to work for various collectors. Um, this did come from a private collection in England, um, and it's a very typical example by him. Another particular uh, favourite of mine is this recent discovery by uh, my namesake Crispin van der Past, who uh, cam comes from Holland. And this is an exciting discovery uh, because because it's connected to a print, it's connected to other known works by the artist, and really adds a bit more uh, on, on you know, knowledge to, to the artist, and is in uh, fabulous condition. Another favourite of mine is this uh, British watercolour by Peter Paylow. Uh, this, is, this is drawn on vellum, he signed it, um, he invariably did them for print, and uh, often they were engraved. This one wasn't. This, uh, he was going around England uh, in the 18th century making drawings and watercolours, which were then published, and he was one of the first artists to set up an encyclopaedia. And by coincidence, I have another one by him, which, it, which was engraved and which was published, uh, and this is of a uh, shield drake, and uh, this uh, was was engraved, and um, apparently in the inscription, the uh, the author says that uh, that the meat tasted rank. So um, I wouldn't advise eating the shield drake. Um, and then going to the French school, um, one one of my uh, favourites is this watercolour by uh, Casme Carbonier uh, of this unknown French sitter. It's beautifully done. He is um, a fairly minor artist, but, but was taught by Jacques-Louis de Ville, so he has a very good uh, provenance in, in that respect. And this is signed and dated, possibly of an English sitter, we're not sure, but he did work in England, so this, my feeling is a French sitter, but I don't know, further research may reveal that. And finally, another one of my favourites is, uh, is this pastel by Piedemont, who is another French artist, and he worked in England in the 18th century. And um, this, this is signed and dated. And he's rather funny, he includes these, these uh, stumps, which are a pun on his name, uh, which uh, Piedemont, um, is his name, but also in French these are called Pilemons. So that's uh, quite a fun uh, play on, 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 on the word. And uh, another one of my uh, favourites is Upstairs. This is um, by an artist uh, who worked in Venice in the 18th century. It's possibly a portrait of Piazzetta, the famous uh, Italian artist. And this is probably by another Italian artist called Torresani. Um, it's very beautifully done. Uh, we're not absolutely sure it's by him, but uh, research so far uh, leads us to, to believe that. The, the drawings that were often not, often weren't signed or dated but often you go on stylistic comparisons, and um, it's difficult to be sure because the artist's dead, and we can't ask him, so um, that's a shame. And um, coming to another one of my favourites is French uh, drawing, which we can be certain is, is by him, because it's connected to a painting and is connected to a large group of drawings by him, and this is called Charles... Louis Lucien Muller, and uh, this was for painting in Lille. And that is uh, about it on my favourites. Thank you.